Hey viewers, welcome to the fourth day of Luke House Tribute. My name is Tuyo Gedimbe. In the past three episodes, I commented on Rutger Hauer's performances as a villain and anti-hero in movies such as Nighthawks, Blade Runner, and The Itcher. Today, I am happy to look back at the four movies where he played the hero. They are Lady Hawk, Wanted Dead or Alive, Blind Fury, and Escape from Sobibor. I'm going to start off with 1985 movie Lady Hawk, where Rutger Hauer played a hero for the first time in an American movie. <music> Lady Hawk is a medieval fantasy adventure movie directed by Richard Donner. It's about a warrior knight named Navarre, played by Rutger Hauer, and a love of his life, Isabel, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, who are both under an evil curse of not being able to be together in human form. By day, Isabel turns into a bird, a hawk, and by night, Navarre turns into a wolf. They must find a way to break this curse with the help of a young thief, played by Matthew Broderick, and an old monk played by British actor Leon McKern. Now, I didn't um, really like this movie that much. I thought it was kind of flat, but I love Howard's performance in it. The Dutch actor stole every scene from American lead actor Matthew Broderick. So all you Howard's fan out there, watch Lady Hawk just for Howard's performance. Now here's a 1987 movie where Howard plays a heroic bounty hunter in contemporary Los Angeles. <music> Wanted Dead or Alive is directed by Gary Sherman. It stars Rutger Hauer as bounty hunter Nick Randall, the descendant of Josh Randall played by Steve McQueen in a television series of the same name. I really like this movie a lot and Howard's um, performance as the heroic bounty hunter really blew my mind. He joined the rank of international action stars like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sean Connery and Bruce Lee. And because of his performance in it, he was cast in another action role in the samurai action comedy Blind Fury. <laughs> In Blind Fury, Howard plays a blind, sword-wielding Vietnam War veteran who protects the son of his army body from crime syndicates. This movie is a remake of a Japanese action movie called Zatiachi Challenge. Unlike the Japanese version, this American version has humor in it. It's the first time for Rutger Howard to star in an action movie mixed with comedy, and he gives a terrific comedic performance. Despite this movie directed by Australian Philip Noyce of Dead Calm fame and a wonderful performance by Hauer, it didn't do the big money business that it deserved. The movie is really great. I think you Hauer fans will enjoy it if you haven't um, seen it. The highlight of it is the sword and fighting duel between Hauer and real life ninja slash Japanese action star Sho Kozugi. Here's a clip showing these two battling out in the climax of the movie. I like you to me. Oh, nice guy, I hope. Everybody's trying to kill me lately. Nick, he's trying. Shh, Frank, shut up. Relax, boy. I paid a lot of money to see this. Ah! 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 
scene. Before Howell starred in that uh, 1989 movie, he starred in a 1987 British TV movie uh, about 300 Jewish prisoners escaping from an extermination camp during World War II. This is Escape from Sobibor. Escape from Sobibor is a true story about some mass escape from the German extermination camp in Sobibar. It stars Alan Arkin as Jewish civilian Leon Fernhelder, Joanna Pecula as Luca, loosely based on Gertrude Poppet, and Rutger Hauer as Lieutenant Alexander Pachinsky of the Jewish Russian Army. Now this movie is not really for the faint of the hearts. But if you guys want to know the history of Jewish prisoners making a daring escape from the, from the German camp, you should watch this movie. It's a good TV movie and Rutger Hauer gives a terrific performance. He won a deserved Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor in a TV Film or Miniseries. It's currently showing on Amazon Prime or you can download it on YouTube. So please watch this movie. You won't be disappointed. I hope you viewers enjoyed this episode. On the fifth and final episode of Rutger Hauer's Tribute, I'll be talking about his participation on a Guinness commercial and talking about my favorite character acting roles he did in such movies like Batman Begins, Confession of a Dangerous Mind, and Sin City. This is Tuyo Gedeinbe, signing off.